Hey guys, I'm going to Florida in 10 days and it'll be less than 10 days by the time this gets posted. So I thought I would just do a little packing video and show you the kind of things I'm gonna be taking with me um, and just get excited about it. First things first, I need to show you the suitcase that I have made the decision, the awful decision to take to America with me. <laughs> this beast, which I can't even see over the top of properly if I do this, this thing. Here. <laughs> that suitcase I bought in LA when I went to America for six weeks because I didn't have enough room and my other one split. It was awful to carry around, especially when I got back to London, it was awful. So I don't know why I made the decision to take it again. Mostly because I know I'll be buying a lot of stuff. I already know I'm gonna hate it. Anyway, all of the things that are gonna fit in that bag, I will now show you. First and foremost, probably most importantly, so I can actually leave the country and get into another country, is my passport. Here's my great picture, if you want to see that. Uh, so I need that to get into America. I like to think I'm quite an organized person, so I take like a file with me, um, like a little folder just to put all my printouts of like hotel confirmations and things like that in, boarding passes, concert tickets, car hire documents, everything that you need. Just gonna carry everything in that and make it all a bit easier. Adapters are really important so that you can charge all of your things. This one in particular, this is like, this is one that you can use in all of these countries, North and South America, Japan and the Caribbean. I bought this because when I went to Chicago, I accidentally took European adapters with me and I was screwed and I bought this for $20 from the Hilton and I then had one adapter to charge all of my things with. So this time I have three and I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna be able to charge all the things at once and these, these are American adapters. I'm not going wrong this time. Hair dye, because as you can see, this is a purple and blue mess and it fades super quickly. I don't know if I'm definitely gonna take this because I don't know if I really want to do it, but I might just take one bottle just to, just to top it up if I need to. Suitcase scales, because as much as we have um, accepted that we are gonna be over the limit on the way back, you just, you just need to know. I've just realized this has a tape measure in it, which I did not know before. This is mind blown. This has changed my life. Also for the plane, I'm bringing my Kindle, which is full of books that I have downloaded. Charger as well, because I read quite a lot on holiday um, and don't wanna be running out of charge because I always leave my Kindle on standby and then the next time I go to read it, it's out of battery. So I'll be taking both of those. Another thing to keep me sane and entertained on the plane and taking this um, coloring book. It's just things to color in, like an adult coloring book, basically. Um, so I'll be taking this, doing some of these things, and I've got these coloring pencils from Tesco to go with it. This is something that I got off eBay because I want to vlog while I'm there, I want to film everything. I want to be able to film on the rides and stuff, but I also don't want to lose my camera. I think they're meant for Wii remotes. I got these off of eBay. You just attach them to your camera like your normal strap, and I don't have an adjustable one, so I thought, I could just get some adjustable ones and they come in different colors so I won't be losing my camera now when I'm trying to vlog on all the rides. <laughs> you need to be comfortable when you're on a long flight so I bought some sweatpants just to wear on flight. See I haven't taken the label off, the six pounds from Asda which is a pretty good deal, they're really comfortable. You don't need to be in jeans on a long flight, you just want to sleep in something comfortable like that. This is my new toiletries bag from Primark. I've had the same toiletries bag for years and I think it was my mum's old one. It was brown and black, it was disgusting. So we bought this, it was four pounds. I think it's really cute, pretty big. It's, it's got loads of stuff in there that will fit. So that's gonna that's gonna be a good bag to take all my toiletries in. This is the bag that I bought to take around the parks with me. It's from Primark, it was, still has a price on it, it's seven pounds. Just like a crossbody bag with loads of pockets, just cheap, easy, just the kind of thing that you need around the parks. I bought another phone cable because the last thing you want on holiday is for your phone cable to break. So we bought that off eBay just to make sure I don't go without my phone because I'm incapable of doing that. Sun cream because I burn. I do not tan, I literally just burn. I got medium, which might be a risk, but I'm gonna risk it and I'm not gonna burn and maybe, hopefully, please, maybe I will tan. My Hufflepuff tie because we'll be going to Universal because the three of us that are going are all Hufflepuffs. I also have a Hufflepuff t-shirt that I'll be taking wearing with this tie um, over it so that I can rep my Hufflepuff pride. Also my mini ears I'm taking, these are from Disneyland Paris. Um, they're really tight, they do hurt my head quite a bit. I think I'm gonna buy some new ones, like some sparkly sequin ones. These are coming with me anyway because you've got to be prepared, you've got to have your mouse ears. I'm taking these shorts from Asda, they were not expensive, I can't remember how much they were, probably like 
10 pounds, 10 to 14 pounds. They're literally just shorts. I hate my legs, so I got some like longer ones and they're quite comfortable as well. I find that Asda do really good shorts. Got quite big legs and these just seem to fit better than most other shorts for me. This top I also got from Asda. It like covers your arms a little bit but it also leaves like your shoulders out and you can just get air and stuff because it's gonna be hot and I'm gonna be dying. This is from Primark, I had to buy it. It says mermaid hair, don't care, and it's got Ariel on it because I have mermaid hair and I don't care, so I thought that would be nice to wear to Disney. Um, I don't have that much Disney stuff to wear, but this was one that I could not leave behind. I needed it. <laughs> this is just an array of tank tops I'm gonna be taking with me because it's hot and as much as I don't like having my arms out, I need to accept that if I don't, I'm going to die because it's so hot there. So just taking some tank tops with me. I've also got the outfits that I'm going to be wearing when I go and see Five Seconds of Summer, which I'm really, really excited about. I obviously won't be wearing these, although maybe I will. Maybe that'd be a good idea. That'll get me noticed. The first night, I believe, I'm going to be wearing this leather skirt from Forever 21. Not quite as short as it looks. It actually covers everything. This crop top and I've only recently got into crop tops. I'm very self-conscious about my body and I've only recently thought yeah maybe I could pull that off with like a high-waisted skirt and I'm obsessed with this top. It's awesome. I love it. So that's gonna be for the first show that I'm going to. The second night I'm going to wear either because I need three black skater skirts with me. That's exactly what you need. I think I'm gonna be wearing this skate skirt here um, with this crop top which I think is really cute with a little zip on it and I think this is the same outfit as well that I'm gonna wear to breakfast with the Disney princesses. Speaking of breakfast with the Disney princesses I've got to show you something. I got this cute little headband which is a bit tangled um, to wear to breakfast with the Disney princesses just so we can have a little bit of sparkle and feel like a princess myself and I don't care that I'm 24 and I'm going to breakfast with the Disney princesses because it's gonna be awesome. This is a top um, from a little store that I found online called Eye Crush and um, just really like it. <laughs> I've got nothing else to say about that. I just really like this top. This top is from Forever 21. Probably gonna wear it with one of my many, many skater skirts. It's nice and thin as well, even though it's got long arms, it's quite thin. Um, so I won't get too hot in that. This dress is also from Forever 21. One thing you will learn about me is that I have an obsession with Forever 21. Even though I'm going to America and I'm going to be spending hours in Forever 21 there and it'll be cheaper. I was like, oh, there's a sale. I need all of this stuff to go to wear to Forever 21 while I'm there. This is one of my favorite dresses at the moment. I really, really like the bottom of it. It's just really cute. I think that finishes it off so nicely. It's a, and it's got long sleeves, a bit thicker than the top I just showed you, but still not too thick. Um, so I think I'll be able to wear that and not be too hot. This dress is from the same store as that top that I crushed store. I absolutely just fell in love with this dress. It's literally magic. It just fits perfectly. I love it. So yeah, I think I can get away with this at the parks as well because it's not like too fancy. It's just pretty and summery and I really like that. I think that's everything. Other than that, I'm going to be taking like knockoff vans with me. I'm going to be going to pay less shoes as soon as I get there because every time I go to America now I buy air walks because they're so comfy for walking around. I need to do that and I need to buy some leggings. That's pretty much all of the stuff I'm going to be taking with me. I know that there's not that much Disney related stuff in there but I'll be doing a Disney haul probably when I get back with all of the Disney things so you get to see more of that then. I need to actually go and put all of that stuff into my huge suitcase and then I need to fly to Florida. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment and subscribe and like and recommend this to anyone you think might enjoy it. And please, please, please subscribe if you want to see my Florida vlogs because I think it's going to be really great. So I will see you when I am in Florida. Goodbye.